Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're gonna discuss the idea of at least one in probability. So if you're doing something like flipping a coin 10 times, you wanna know what's the probability that you get at least one head. Well, the whole idea is that at least one means you got either one, two, three, four, five, six, really any number, as long as it's not zero. So the whole idea of at least one is that it does not include zero. So that's why the notes here say the probability of at least one is one minus probability of zero. So if you know the probability that you're getting none of them, if you do 100% minus that probability, then you know the probability of you getting at least one. So for example, if I flip a coin four times, I can get either zero heads, one head, two head, three heads, or four heads. The probability of me getting at least one would be the sum of all of these, if I added up what all of these are. That's kind of annoying though. Nobody wants to add up four different things when I could just figure out what's this probability and then subtract it from 100%. And the probability of getting zero heads is, I believe, 1 16th. So if I just do 1 minus 1 16th, then that gives me 16 sixteenths minus 1 16th. So the whole idea is I have a 15 16 chance of getting at least one head. So this is a little fast. I hope this makes sense. I will do some sample problems right now. Um, but that's the whole idea. At least one is just 100% or one minus the probability of getting zero. For the first problem here, if you flip a coin five times, find the probability of getting at least one tail. So at least one, we see these at least one, immediately we know it's gonna be one minus the probability of zero. So it says tails, so what's the probability of getting zero tails? Probability of getting zero tails means that we get heads every time. So what is the probability that we get a head five times in a row? Well, that'd be one half times one half times one half times one half times one half. And when we multiply this, the ones on top become a one. Two times two times two times two times two is, is two to the fifth, which is 32. So we know that the probability of zero tails would be the same thing as the probability of five heads, which is one over 32. So all we need to do is one minus one over 32 and give them a common denominator, 32 over 32 minus one over 32. And that gives us the probability, and that gives us the probability of getting at least one tail is 31 over 32. Let me grab a calculator and a decimal approximation for that, 0.9688 or 96.88%. And we can check it. Yep. Yeah, so this doesn't do the fractions here, it just does the decimals, but it's the exact same answer, the 96875. So if this first one makes sense, let's try the next one. So for this one, they say you roll a die eight times. So it's a six-sided dice, we roll it eight times. Find the probability of getting at least one six. So once again, it says at least one. So that means we want to do one minus the probability of zero, and basically that's zero sixes. So what is the probability of getting zero sixes? Well, that's the probability of getting eight in a row between one and five. So that means we have eight events. Each event has a five sixth chance of not getting a six, of getting a one, two, three, four, five. So we're just gonna do five six times five six times five six times five six, eight times. So what this told us is the probability of getting zero sixes. So that's five to the eight over six to the eight. And I'm gonna use a calculator to get the decimal approximation on that. So five to the eight is three, nine, zero, six, two, five. And six to the eight is one, six, seven, nine, six, one, six. It's approximately equal to 0.2326. We roll a dice eight times, the probability of getting no sixes is 23.26%. That's higher than I would have thought. A roughly 23% chance of not seeing any sixes if we roll it eight times. So that would be what goes here. And if we want to know the probability that we get at least one six, we just do one minus that decimal and we get 76.74 or 76.74%. And we can check it. And that's the answer to that one. So if we roll a die eight times, we have a roughly 77% chance of seeing at least one six. It could be two sixes, could be three, could be four, they could all eight be sixes. But the 
chance of seeing at least one in those eight rolls is 77%. And the way we did that was one minus the probability of zero. And that concludes the explanation of at least one with probability. If you want to try more problems, there's this page on andymath.com, probability at least one. You can try some of the other questions on here. And if you want more math practice, there's andymath.com, and I have a whole page dedicated to statistics here. And there's quite a bit on probability, uh, mutually exclusive events, complements of events, uh, combinations, permutations, everything you could want to do with lots of sample problems and videos. So if this helped, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Andy, man.